Hello, hello, hello. Today, we're going to get a little more challenging. Uh, yesterday, things were pretty simple with sandwiches and molecules. Uh, hopefully, you weren't too bored. Today, we're going into the game. All right, and we've got three levels. So, if we take a look, today it says, today you will go do the game portion of the simulation. First, click on game. All right, and then what you see are three levels to choose from. Choose level one. So in level one, right, we're going to be making the reactants. We want to try to get, we're going to be using these reactants, right? But this is a little different than when we were making sandwiches. We need to put in enough reactants to match the actual products. So these are the actual products at the top. So we need to end up with at least one CS2 and two H2S. Okay, we need to find those. So what we're going to do Notice we've got one of our carbons, and then we have uh, four hydrogens and one sulfur, right? So we want to match that. So we want to need one of these, right? And then if we put in one of these, one CH4. It says we're adding four of these. Hmm. See what happens. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Yesterday, I agree, was extremely simple. Today, things are going to a little more complicated, but you're going to use what you learned yesterday in the game. So let's go to the game. If we look at our document, it says, today you will do the game portion of the simulation. First, click on game. We just did that. And what you see are three levels to choose from. We're going to choose level one to start with. In level one, you are putting in the reactants. All right, but this is a little different than yesterday. We need to put in enough reactants to match the actual products. So we're trying to get these products out of the reactants we put in. Remember what we discovered yesterday. What goes in is what comes out. We can't make new atoms, so we have to have the exact same mass going in that comes out. So we have to match our mass on the reactants with the mass in the products. All right, so what you put in won't be exactly like what you see in the white bar above, but it will be similar ratios. White bar just shows the general ratio of reactants to products. All right, watching this video will help you out. See if I can do this. Okay, so what do we see? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, right, of these carbon atoms. So we're going to make sure we put in one, two, three, four, five, six of the carbon atoms. Right now, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of the oxygens. One, two, three, four, five, six of the oxygens here. That matches. Now we got to check do we need any of these extra hydrogens up here? It's telling us we might need one. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, we have 24 hydrogens over here. How many do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We need 12 more hydrogens here. In groups of two, that's going to give us six. Notice the pattern, one to one. Let's check. We got it right. Okay, there's five levels in this, five challenges, you'll hit next and do the next one. Yours are going to be a little different. They don't always, you know, you start over, it's going to start over and be different, right? So I'm going to go back to level, back to the levels, right? Notice you're going to do it the next time. You, I want to know what your final score is. So put your final score in so I know what your score was. How many out of 10 points did you get? And then we're going to go to level two. In level two, this time you're making products, right? So this time you're making the products just like the last time. You're trying to match the atoms in the reactants. Don't worry about having leftovers, right? 
will have leftovers. These reactions won't be perfect. This again is that similar ratio. We've got one and two. Uh, we've got three H2s. All right, right now they're showing us one, two of them. So we got to figure out how are we going to get that to work. And we need at least one, we need two of these NH3s. Okay, but how? We got two and two, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six. But only one, two, three, four over here. Hmm. What do we do? Well, when you're not sure, you can always hit check and then try again. So something's not right, huh? So let's try again. We gotta get a similar ratio. One, there's six here. Two and twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not sure. One, two. didn't have enough to make the reaction happen. That was tricky. Mm, I didn't even catch that one. So don't worry if you have a mistake here and there, right? So let's go on to the next one, see if it works out a little better. All right, this time two COs and 102. And we got plenty of everything, so we should be able to make it this time. All right, so we want to get two CO2s out. So we, let's make sure we get our two CO2s and then we're going to be working on that ratio again. So we got one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms. I see two. Let's see what else we can get. Or five. Maybe not. So you can see it's going to be a little trickier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So how many we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Put in one of those. down one of those. So it's a multiple of that. So now how many do I have? Look at the oxygens. One, two, I have 21 over there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven. Thirteen. Fifteen. 17, 18, 21, maybe we did it. All right, so it gets tricky, right? Looking at ratios, looking at products, it's going to be a little more challenging. Once you get that one done, going even on to a higher level, now go to level three. Again, you're making products, but it's much more complicated. All right, going to have some leftovers involved. Start over, go to level three, and you can see it gets a lot more complicated. So you even saw that I struggled a little bit myself. Right? That one was really tricky. So keep an eye out for those really tricky ones. If the reactants, if you don't end up with enough reactants to actually make a product, put in what you see. Otherwise, you're going to be looking for those ratios and multiples, doing a little math in this chemistry simulation. Don't freak out if you don't get a good score. I just want to know what your score is, and we'll talk about it in class, and I'll help you out. Have a little fun. Good luck.